Hey, <laughs> welcome back to a, um, what if Naruto, wait, 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 wait. What if Naruto was a lightning sage, was a lightning sage, had lightning sage mode. Now, if you haven't seen my previous videos, you definitely should have watched those. Now, lightning sage mode is a type of mode where you have extreme amount of speed, everything like that. Extremely overpowered, by the way. Now, like we said, he only has the two tamoli, meaning that he only has the imperfect one. So now is the tuning exams. Now Naruto physically already knows everything. So he's like a booking exams. It's like everything like that. Now he already don't know that um because he's the smartest one there. But he doesn't really show it sometimes. So he goes and he writes down, writes down, writes down digital. He doesn't really write anything down on like any of them. Except for the tenth one. And he does it correctly and he spins it over. And there. Yeah. He goes, he waits, and waits, and waits, if I'm correct, if, I can't remember, was it? I think it was after, uh, who cares, now they will get to the forest part where they have to do everything, now everything goes the same. Except for Roshimaru goes for it as soon as he sees them. So he would get um he would give Sasuke the curse mark, doing all of that, no one breaking his arm. Now and I was also gonna say that Naruto Naruto could copy any jutsu, anything. I mean anything. I mean like he could copy maybe um Probably the most hardest jutsu in the entire world, like the Senju or Wood style. So usually, he usually does like the Senju type thing, but sometimes he doesn't because he gets bored after that. So he doesn't at all. So he wouldn't really be using the Senju type stuff with the chakra and hands fist because he already knows a hundred healing jutsu. He's trying to manifest a new healing jutsu, what is called. Do 1000 healing jutsu. And then there's his giant palm rotation, which is a palm rotation, but 10 times more, like 5 times more bigger than like a regular palm rotation. He's showing the person in hand. Now we will go and go and go. Since they have, he haven't, they haven't seen, you know, the, um, his fighting style because he has forced fighting styles including the the if I'm correct no what who cares he has uh, the the Ned Neji style he has the dragon things where he has the fist covered in where his fist is covered in dragons in dragon but it's like darkened so it's like black and so he goes and he goes now he hasn't shown anyone that because that is a really really powerful jutsu and he goes and goes I know you're thinking is he too overpowered eh, yeah pretty much now there's only one weakness that you can defeat him with maybe and that's probably sand and water because sand is usually half the time what he doesn't really use and water water kind of down down do downs the fire sometimes but then after him getting the two the sand kind of disappears in um, the water too so like he doesn't have any weaknesses until he gets something else now he goes and goes everything happens the same then there's the the physical tuning exams, so they go, and it is. <sighs> it's gonna be linked middle to try and change. Now it's going to be. It's just for Sasuke. 
if I'm correct, it's going to be Naruto versus Rock Lee because well, why would it help? And also, then it will be Sasuke versus Dara since it makes uh, sense. Now, it that was the first fight for well everything there goes. Then it's Rock Lee versus Naruto. Or uh, like he what he likes to call himself. Zero. Nope, just not to. That's it, because it sounds doom. So, he... He would prefer that he would put off, like, say, you might want to take off your little baby training little weights. That's what Naruto would say. Because he has, like, like, a hundred pound weights on both his legs and arms. So, like, he doesn't get... So, he doesn't break like the sound mirror or something so he would it's only on his feet because usually he has enough muscle to do everything but no one can see this because he put on no what never mind never mind no what never mind no weights because who cares rockley would say hmm, i will do my best <laughs> i will do my best and defeat you which Naruto was saying, like ever. So, Kuruzen finally getting it. Start the matches. Start the match. And Rock Lee would run up to Naruto. Naruto wouldn't do anything. Just waiting. Until he makes one small error. And that's physically it. So, he, he just dodging every single hit Rock Lee is putting. And then he kicks Rock Lee so hard that even the weights fall off so it's like a a meteor kick so he kicks him in the stomach and he flies back and then he gets strong faster so he goes into the, like the first gate and he since he has his late weights off he knows everything so he would go and go and go again Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just for getting cases. Now, he would go and see if... Let me see if it's on. Okay, this is It is on. So we go at really fast speeds, and I mean fast speeds. Now, Naruto would pretty much eat us like it's nothing. And just fight him. Just pop, 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 pop. Now, he's probably using about uh, 4% of his power on him. He hasn't launched, like, maybe, he only launched maybe one attack, and that was physically it. Just pop, 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 pop. But it'll be, um, Sasuke versus Shikamaru. No, was it? I think it was Shikamaru. I don't remember. The one that has the dog, yeah. I think that's Shikamaru. I can't. And he would just keep fighting, keep fighting, and then he will kick him again in the direct same spot. And then Lee would go into the fourth gate. Yeah, fourth gate. He'll go into the fourth gate. And you and Naruto would say, okay, no more playing around. And then he would charge up his key. I mean, what am I saying? Key? Whatever. He would charge up his chakra, looking like, um, key. You know how people charge up and everything. And then he says, first gate of ascendance, open! <gasps> and then there's the same thing, if you haven't seen my last video yet. He does that, and he says, this is only the first gates. You haven't even seen all my others. Well, he actually doesn't say that, because he doesn't want to take, like, he doesn't want to say anything about that. So... Lee would run at him at all of his speeds, and Naruto would put up the fighting stance of hit, but with, you know, the two fingers up, the two hands up. So, he would make two, sha um, five shadow clones, and all of them would run at Lee, and they would just disappear. And then all of a sudden, he Lee feels a uppercut on his, like, he feels an uppercut, then a, um, a person, like, a kick to his, like, back, and then 
he gets a he he feels like his legs are getting pulled up like um a pencil when you like throw it up and and you keep it in the direct same spot like it's just straight so he's like that and then Naruto would say countering primary lotus and let me what and they will go at speeds I don't even think no one can see and we'll make a so everything would clash down freaking the the piece of the the entire in general just like the entire um top layer of um of the top so like the roof is gone pretty much so it's gone and Nars will say finally do it and now he'll summon a, like all the um those will poof and then he'll summon another five and Kakashi say don't you dare but he wouldn't be able to hear him because he's still in the starts and then he'll make a Rasengan and then put like enough chakra so it doesn't kill the, him so he would go and go and go at speeds I deem crazy. So they'll be like distracting Lee because he's in his fourth gate. So they, he, he they will slow down and then not Lee would say fifth gate open. I don't remember what the fifth gate was called. So he would still be blocking some of them and then he would get like guard break. Like a guard break or a stamina break, and his stomach would be open, and he'd be like, <clears throat> Naruto would get his hand and push that wrestling on at his, like, at his, in his stomach, and Lee would cough up some blood, like a, yeah. <coughs> he would do that, and then Naruto would push wrestling on, throwing it still in Lee's stomach. And it, he goes through the freaking, he goes through the hand, the, you know, the hands that are like, look like they're praying or something, I don't remember what it looked like. So he goes through that, and then he goes through the wall, and then flies, and freaking everything like that. And then Naruto would say, get over here. And Lee well, wouldn't notice, but he had a chain on, but um, Naruto got a chain on him when he was, when he got the machine on off. So he gets that. And then he lets go, and so the chakra chains, no, the chakra chains were off. Not those marky ones. I come back. Oh, no. Just the uh, um, scorpion ones. So he would get, like, he would just keep flying back. And then Naruto would punch him, and not enough so it can kill him or anything or wreck at all. So he would get punched and then get his ground back up, and he'd go, like, six gate open! And then Naruto would kick him in the stomach once again. And and then all of a sudden, he gets side-sweeped. Like, not on his stomach, not on the top piece, but he's got swipe sweep on his legs. And then he gets hit on the back again. And then Naruto flies up and makes of a sink shirt. No, he wouldn't. No, he would... Like a roundhouse kick into a down kick, and he will use he put all of his chakra into this one. No, nah, he won't because he doesn't want to kill him. And he would do the and he would say, Lion's Pride. <clears throat> and all you just see is it looks like a lion flying down like a dragon or um. A dragon or um, a lion flying down from the heavens, just hitting um, Lee, Rock Lee in the stomach with the slice, and it would disappear. And then all you see is Naruto kicking him down at speeds that even Lee wouldn't even notice at this point in time. And almost break his back, but he will come back behind Lee as soon as he almost fell to the ground. And he would say, he would get out of the, his um his uh his ascended state, uh, the eight gates, the eight ascended gates, and he'll say, Rasenga, hitting Lee in the back meat and turning the Rasengan and throwing him back into the ring. Now Lee will pretty much be like. 
there's no point. Like, there, he's not getting out of this. So he gets. And then gets to the wall and just gets hit, like, falls on a tree. Knocking him out and also breaking about, one, about four ribs and about one part of his leg. Now, Sasuke would fight him, and then if I'm correct, now I told to fight Gara. Now, Gara doesn't even, like, because he, he was there, but he didn't think he was not going to be lying until he did that. So, Gara would think maybe he won't be able to stand up to my son. So... Naruto would be like just running at him with the with stance, the, the hit stance, and he hits the sand, and it completely just makes a hole through it. Like pretty much makes a hole through it, like usual, like a normal person would. But I mean, like the entire sand is like. Like, it's like a giant hole. Like, pretty much like a giant hole. And then Naruto would hit him, like, like a little small hit. And then do the one-inch hit, the one-inch punch, punch, and punch him. And he would call this the... Lightning Shatter. That's perfect. So he'll call this lightning shower because he usually loses. He usually used lightning for this. So he hits him. He goes at sonic speed with the lightning and hits him and kicks him in the back, breaking the, the gong and then hit him again in the ear. And um, you know how um WWE wrestlers do the and then a boom. You know you know that. I hope you do, because if you don't, uh, I'm rose gold. He does that in the air, and he falls down, and then he gets... Now, Naruto would run in a circle at extremely fast speeds, and he would actually pull, put lightning, lightning chakra inside of the tornado, and he would call it... The Vine Slice, if I'm correct. And he would do that, because remember when I did Tizabuzo, if I'm correct? So he would do that, and he calls it... Lightning, the the divine lightning slice. So he does that because the lightning cutter consists of four moves hanging them back to the ground. So it consists of the one inch punch, the one inch punch, or what he likes to call it, the. There's no script. I have nothing for this, so I have I don't know what I'm supposed to call it. He calls it the fire burst because uh, he calls it the lightning burst because lightning comes out or like wind comes out. No wind burst. Uh, he likes to call it the wind burst, hitting hitting you, and then he fly back because all that wind is from pressuring, and then you, you get kicked in the back, getting sent into the air, like. Getting side sweeped and then kicked in the back, getting sent to the air and doing a a down um a down I don't remember what it was called from WWE and did a boom like that and you fly down. Now if you add the divine um the divine cut I mean divine slice. Which is pretty overbound if I say so myself. Now, he would add those two together, which took him almost a year, like a month to do, like three months to do, like four or five months to do. But he had enough time in his mindscape. So he does that, and then he, like, usually, like, he had to fly up in the air, and then you make a punch on, like, the wind cutter and fly over there. And just hit the tornado. Or the darkened, like, the darkness tornado. And you hit him. You hit it. And enough wind pressure and air would be able to get sent and hit the person right in the stomach. So he would do that and we call it the divine slice. Because tornado, it looks like a slicing wind. Because once he does it, it looks like a, like a, a slice, 
looks like a slice, and then it turns into like a like um a beam of wind hitting them in the stomach. So he calls it that, that, and that's why. So he does that, and he does divine lightning slice, and hits him, and uh, the arrow goes flying out, and he will say, "Oh, for my blood!" And they somehow, um, the other shoe, I don't remember what the name were. I don't. He's able to say like, "Oh, that's not good," and he's getting his full on Chukaku state. And now to be say, finally an actual challenge. Now he would do um he would have two um lightning chidoris in his hands, but they were both black. So like he would split them together and he will fly pretty much I guess you could say run as sane speeds over there and he would call this the God's punch because he would punch because he will make a tornado creating a lightning and he would just he would they will all get like the person or persons people will get like zapped everywhere so if it's sand it will turn into glass if I'm correct so then he'll uppercut he will uppercut the person which is that is a full on shikaku and then he flies out there and then uses a good amount of chakra since they're still in the air. No, 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 no. So he just goes over there and he creates a um on. I, I remember what it was called. I actually don't remember. So he creates like a machine gun, but it has those black things on the side. So he does no. He just creates a like a racing a racing shuriken. And now he finally gets the wind one. So he f- like throws it at him, and then he adds two more racing guns. Throwing those two, both having one of them having both of them having actual lightning, and then like adding chidoris, like adding a chidori, throwing throwing both of the throwing both of the chidoris at the lightning rasengans, which I don't remember what they even look like, but uh, making them even more stronger, and they will go and they will hit Shikaku, and Naruto would fly up there because like. His entire body's gone. Like half of it's gone now. Not um he will still be out, so he would the Chicago would reform, but it'll take maybe four, ten to nine seconds and Naruto could get could get there in like four. So he punches Gara. He punches Gara as like downwards into the stand and it go he goes directly through that and since it was the sand broke his kind of kind of broke his fall, so he fell through that and he got hit with planks and trees and everything and fall on the floor, and then Naruto would fall on the floor because he just used what maybe about ninety mm, percent of his like forty percent of his heart. Like, he wasn't able to use chakra for at least maybe an, maybe an hour or so because he used about forty five percent of his chakra. Because remember mixing um. Mixing a Chidori, two Chidoris, a Racine Shuriken, and then two more Rasengans that have like lightning and chakra infused with it, and then throwing another Chidori, nothing, throwing another two Chidoris at the lightning Rasengans, creating them, and then that exploding with immense power and Naruto wasn't able to get out of there so he had to just jump through it and he would get zapped and everything throwing by wind and but he will still be able to hit Gara. and then he'll do the Chak no Jutsu the most powerful Jutsu in the entire universe now he would kill that and he would the walking Yeet. Now and then he'll get the three Tamoe. Which there's all that surge power. Because the three Tamoe is called the Tamoe of Friendship. You have to create a friend, but Naruto hasn't created a friend. Because he has been just doing all that. So now he has a... Uh, no, because the two Tamoe gives you the ribcage of the Sansuno. And then the three Tamoe gives you the legs and bodies of the Sansuno. 
I mean, not the legs. I mean, like, the top and back. Like, the top, like, the arms, the chest, and the head. So, he has a eh, perfect Sansuno. Now, he'll go and... Naruto would actually not know the same story can actually. So never mind about that. Because that was going to be way too overpowered. Because he only knows those of the... Because he would add wind style to all three, like, five of them. Because he threw five Rasengans. So he can do enough chakra. Like, like five lightning Rasengans. Which they didn't change. They just looked like it was like looked like they had lightning on it, so pretty much that was it. And he will run out of chakra right now. So now he has an in some sort of, but I don't really. So he would go and he would know that he died. And then there's the training arc, which. So he goes and finds that one guy that had the weird eyes. I don't remember what he was looking like. Um, now, now um, he couldn't mess. Karma. The Nine Tails couldn't mess with Naruto because he was way too deep into the mind scape that even that like even the Sage of Six Paths couldn't even get in there. I mean the Sage of Six Paths. I mean the Sage of Six Paths. <laughs> So he goes and he goes and goes and goes and goes. So he goes and goes and goes and finds your yada yada yada. And then there's then he does the thing with the summoning. Well he doesn't actually summon a Toad, he actually summons a tiger, which he um he would be Jirai would be surprised because he never actually seen a tiger with two tails, and also because it looks like it was on fire, and also because it was red because he fully unlocked the purple one, and he thought he was the monster the two tails for a second, but he was like oh, there's just something. So he has a that it's this pride summoning because the pride summoning gives you a lion gives you you know how you go in sage mode imagine slits and then slits on the other side like so your eyes would turn blue and your your eyes would have two slits making it into a cross like making it into a cross and then it'll be like an X after that. So it'll be like a... Uh, sage mode? No. It'll be sage mode, but like... Mach 1. Because the first... The other one... Is 10 times more better. I'm shut up. I'm shut up. I'm shut up. Now he does that. And... They go... And then they go to get Signale. After that, he wins because... Uh, and he actually does the infused chakra, so he gets, he punches Signale so hard in, like, the gut, that, like, she spits out a decent amount of blood. And Jirai, whoa, 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 calm down, Naruto. And Naruto would hit her heck hard, and then flanish behind her, vanish behind her, and chopping her on the neck. I think made 40. <laughs> and Jirai would do that, and then there's the Itachi sequence. Which, we're not going to get into that. There's the Itachi sequence. Which, Itachi and that one guy that was like a shark and whatever. So, they see him and um, they will be. he would be like, Hey, Itachi. And just close the door. Now, Itachi would open up, like, open up the door. And Naruto would have about four kunais. And that was pretty much it. So, he would throw all four of the kunais. Do Kakashi dodging every single one, and then um, Naruto sliding through Kakashi's, I mean, Itachi's legs, and be running for it, be running, and turn back, and Naruto, I mean, ah! He would turn, um, Itachi would turn on his Mangekyo Sharingan, guess why not? 
and he would do that, and he would be like, huh, not bad. And then he would do his negative Sharingan, which is only the three Tomoe and Mitachi be um, surprised, because he never ever seen like a like a Sharingan like this. So he'd be dramatically surprised, of course. So, that boy's hit the enough. I don't just go, okay, go. And then he does the same thing as he talks to um, Mitachi, but it's only purple. <laughs> it's purple and black, and it only has a sword, except for Taki just has a arrow and a sword. That has, and he uses the arrow, so he uses the sword, and they clash with the sword. Taki's almost automatically break his, almost automatically breaking, and then Naruto slashing through his son Tuno, almost hitting Itachi, and like almost catching his leg, actually. And then he would do another slice down, downwards this time. So it would be like going through the top bunk and everything. And it would almost hit Itachi again. And then that one shark guy that I actually don't remember would come in and try to absorb the chakra, but um. Um, that didn't work at all, because, uh, we do not talk about that. Now, he would get, like, he, the, the sword would clash on his, clash on his sword, and he, not sure would be surprised, but then, he'll leave a shadow clone, that he goes, and that it goes for, um, that short guy, and it hits him in his stomach, and then, kicking his sword, and then giving it to um, Naruto, and he'd be like, huh, not a bad sword. And then just change it, just full on change it into like a, a sword, like a regular long sword. And I mean a long sword. I don't mean like the short swords, I mean like a mm, five to four inch. Nah, nope. Uh, maybe. Okay, imagine your TV right now, but imagine it maybe being, like, a imagine a PS4, but it was, like, the PS5, so, but it was taller, the PS5, but taller. So, it would be, like, that. So, maybe, like, the PS5 would be, like, maybe six to five more inches. That's not what she said, don't even try. So, we do that, and... He would put in his sheath. He would actually, like, make it disappear. Making another sword into his left arm. Because the right arm has an execution sword. So he brings that out. And he runs at um, that shark guy. And slicing him in half like it was nothing. And throwing the executioner blade at Kakashi. I mean, Itachi. And Itachi would miss, like, not get, he would miss it. And he was he was in perfect range for something he really wanted to do for a long time. So then he gets the Xuxer Blade out of, like, because he teleports to it. Like a, you know, yeah. So he gets that out. And then, no, Kakashi, I mean, Itachi would throw some kunai, like five kunai, maybe ten kunai, just for the cases. Cause why not? They will, he wouldn't have a knife, and the the pouch would disappear after that because. And Naruto would say, "Come away," and he would zip, and Naruto would be like, Ugh. and he would stand the. So this um is this universe is different from Obito's because it's. Like his, but it has grass and yeah, it just has grass in the outlands, and it has it has blue sky in general. It just has really beautiful blue sky. So he usually goes in there for fun and beautifulness, and he would be directly behind Itachi, and he would Naruto would say, "You're in position, position," and Naruto would say, "Kyuga style." Giant palm rotation. And Naruto would giant palm rotation uh, Itachi. And he would hit Itachi. He would actually like 
it would hit Itachi, and then Itachi would actually physically go through it, and then he would get hit by, like, all these, he would get hit by every single tracker point, like, and I mean every single tracker point, so he gets flown out of that, and gets, and he goes almost directly through the wall, but he doesn't, so he goes, he breaks, like, half the wall, and he falls on the floor, and Naruto would let go of the giant, um, the giant palm rotation, and he will pick up Kakashi, I mean Itachi, and like disappear. And buddy, he was like, oh, I'm not. so Naruto would do, let's say, I'll do something helpful for you, and you join us. Now Itachi, I mean, yeah, Itachi would say, and what was that? Because I never will. And Naruto would be like, so, with the Rasengan, if you don't, I hit you with this. And then the Rasengan would turn black. You can call it whatever you want, because I don't think, I don't know what to call it at all. No, actually, never mind. I, I don't actually, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. You did not hear that. You did not hear that, all right? You did not. Now, it would turn white. And Kakashi would be confused to what what does that mean. And then Naruto would throw it, physically throw it. And uh, the place that they're in, the entire wall would pretty much disappear. Like, it would be gone. Pretty, like, it would be gone. I mean, it was enough to, like, destroy. Like, like it had enough power that it can probably destroy, like, maybe nine buildings. And then the ball would regenerate and do that. So he would say, I'll give you eyes from a place that I have been for a long, very, very long time. And Itachi would be like, I'm listening. Now, um, I mean, Itachi, I mean, Naruto would say, well, you still have your Mangekyou Shurikan. But they'll be white. And, uh, they kind of look like a three tomorrow. Is you okay with that? Mm, sure, fine. So he, has, he implants, quote unquote, his eyes in there because he implants, um, everything like that. And he, uh, Kakashi, Itachi would feel an extremely amount of big surge of power. And he would tell, and he would say, Why did you give this to me? So you can give me answers why you killed your entire clan. So he would do that for a big brain trick. And he was saying, I did it because of Haruzin. I did it because Haruzin told me to. I'm listening. Haruzin, he didn't he explain to everything that it was about the Super Bowl. Okay. And so, Naruto would be surprised at the same time, surprised. Now, he would actually unlock his Mangekyo Sharingan, since y'all have been seeing this like 50 times. So, this is his Mangekyo Sharingan. This is his internal Mangekyo Sharingan with the three Tomoe. And we're not going to talk about that yet. We're not going to talk about that. He actually unlocks this. And this gives him a perfect Sansuno. And he also gets a new mode with this perfect Sansuno. If he has enough chakra, he would get into this mode. To get into the fire mode. Now, the fire mode is when... You know how it turned... It, it was purple and everything? That's like his first gear. This is his second gear. Ten times more powerful. Um, it could do Duchu's. It can make his... It's... Everything. <laughs> so, this one would actually... It would have a... Like, both of them... All... Both of the Sansunos would also have a line... No. Both of them would actually have a lion, um, a lion, a lion, um, if I'm correct, a lion chest piece with blue glowing eyes and blue teeth. And then there's this second gear, which turned the entire thing into red and black. And the eyes would turn white. And this, the teeth would turn white. But 
it would just be full on. It would be. It would be red and white. So this is purple and black. This is red and white. Two different, full on two different colors. So I'm gonna do that, and he would say, "Now you have this." So like, uh, he would actually have. He would be having these two. He would have his manga kyo. I think that's. I think that's Sasuke's. I can't really tell. He would have Chichui's Mangekyo and Obito's uh, Mangekyo Sharingan. I can't tell if that's the eternal. I don't know. So he does that. <clears throat> so he has that. But they will be white like this. Fawn did not see those. So, at the flat, it would also have the three Tomoe. So, like, it, the three Tomoe would be inside of this right there. These, because it'll be like a circle. And it'll be three Tomoe's inside of there. So, Naruto would be, oh, that's a good choice. I would destroy the village, but I would have to, no, okay. you get it, all right. Now you're going to be, be uh, Natasha, you're going to have to be under an uh, undercover Osasis, a Koski member, saying that we almost got him, but Jiraiya came in and killed him. And killed Kuzina. Oh, what was the freak his name was? <clears throat> and they won't be able to get there. So I would say I would have a um a blade, but I don't because I don't have it anywhere in here. So he would also have a perfect Sansuno, if I'm correct. If I'd said that already, I don't remember. Um, and he will look, his eyes will, the eye will look like this with one, two, six Tomoe, and that. Now they would work on, because Naruto would already know the Rasengan, so they would work on the giant and the Rasengan jerk and then all the other ones. Now he would tell Jiraiya everything about his area, everything, literally everything. Because he trusts them, he trusts Jiraiya. So, Jirai creates, creates a giant Rasengan. He already, he pretty much does that in like seconds, that's the same thing. And then he'll, and then he'll ask, what happens if you add elemental, elemental things? And Naruto would actually never think of that because he has the IQ of two brains. Um... <coughs> <coughs> What it will maybe take about two years to do everything. So Naruto already knows everything about the lava style, but he act, but he been working on a Brasengan that is ninety more times powerful than all of them above, and it will actually look like. <clears throat> It will look like that. It looks like a like a blackish hole, a black holeish. So I want to ask you guys, what should I call it? Because I can't really think, and I have my brains. Because you, because you can um make all the you can make all the moves. You can call it. You can make all the moves like the divine slice, the divine lightning slice, or the. Uh, the one that you know how it does to Zabinza if you haven't seen one of my older videos. You can um name that one too. Cause I don't have any names for that. And so what should we call it? Please tell me now. Please, I swear to God. 
No. After maybe uh, maybe two years of working on it, he would be almost perfect. But sometimes, if he he can't hold it forever, so it only he only has maybe he can only hold it for about five to six. No, nine. No, fifteen seconds until it like disappears. Cause it's he. I don't know what he calls it. Cause he can't. He doesn't know what to call it actually. So Jariah would say, maybe you should call it blank, 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 or blank. So Nars would say that's a good point. So he calls it blank, 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 or whatever y'all want to call it. He calls it whatever y'all call it, and he goes. And he trains for another mm, six months, and he actually full on masters the entire thing. He masters whatever this is going to be called, and he's actually made the deal. The deal. So he actually did the. He will. He will look like this when he's in the mode. I don't remember what it was called. Like KCM. Yeah, it was called KCM. Yeah, KCM. So he'll look like this, but he would have purple, and he would still have the red and black like this thing. And his hair would look like this, and then he would have these, which I don't. Even, I actually don't even know what these are. You did not see that. You did not see those. You did not see those. You know, just ah, he just ah. he would. I think those are recent shuriken, like. They're yellow, so like you you can ask what these are too. But he can only make one without the KCM, and he can only make two within KCM. So he makes like, and this one is really close to this one, but you're able. You can't throw this. You can't throw whatever that thing is called. But you can throw these. Because if you throw it, because if you throw, Jesus Christ, if you throw that, it's going to actually ex explode on impact. Well, it's not going to actually explode, it's actually just going to be gone. Like, physically going to be gone. Remember when I say he mastered it? Yeah, he almost mastered it. Like, he can't, the mastery is when you can throw it, but he wasn't able to for some weird, dumb reason every single time. So... He will come back to the village, do everything, yada, 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 and then he'll get sage mode at her that, and then just wait for everyone. So he wouldn't actually now. Sorry, no corona. Um, he wouldn't, they wouldn't, uh, Jirai wouldn't know what this tiger, this prideful lion, this lion sage mode, he hasn't actually ever seen it. So this is one, and then this is two, and then this is KCM. So he learns the first one, so he learns both of them. He learns both of the first gear of sage mode and the second gear, and then... Then they link, and then they get this, and then we're on. Well, then, um, the boy, push boy, pushy boy, is there. The almighty push boy, on a since or whatever it's called, is come there for nine toes, and he'll do almighty push. And destroy half the village, take away some souls, and then you'll go to he yeah. Now in this story, Jirai wouldn't die because he's not dumb. Because like he's not dumb, okay. <laughs> so he goes and and. Tsunade would be in a terrifying shock. Thank you. And then Naruto would come in with the Rasengan. Just a regular Rasengan. And Chit, um, 
hit the freaking guy, the, the, that one robot thing of our pain, you all feel pain, or something, hit that guy, and then everything, the same thing will happen, so he not to will come in, but he, but he doesn't, he doesn't actually, so he not to, he wouldn't be like stuck to the ground, he would actually like get up and then turn his, other th- turn on his thing, and just, both of them will fight them. And then everything, and then Pain will get kicked back, and Naruto will create these. Only one, because he couldn't make like four. So he would actually need four Shadow Clones to make even one of those, which was even like one of these. And he needs about nine Shadow Clones to make that. So he makes one of those, and he. He runs over at um, Pain because he's like staggered, so he can't really do anything. Like, cause his legs are binded to the the floor because you know him. And he Naruto would throw the sink, the throw the sink on, hitting Pain, throwing the y'all could call whatever these are called. Like, I don't know what you could call them. I don't know what y'all can call them. Y'all could call them whatever y'all want, and you can call the other one. You call that whatever you want. Because I don't think I don't know what to call those. You call all of his moves. No, he still has more to go. He still has more to go. He hasn't been able to unlock this mode. But he has been able to unlock the Sage. Um, that false, um, that false mode that gives him him chakra. And you know, don't forget. Yeah. And he would throw it at, and it will make a big explosion, and then it will kind of turn into a supernova, decimating pain. Physically, he's gone. Like he's he's gone. And Naruto will make another one because those these Rasengans or Rasengan shurikens take up a lot, and I mean a lot of chakra. So he throws another one, and it hits. It goes through, it goes through the old one, and it hits Pain again, and he f- Pain gets flew up into the air, and going directly back down. Somehow his body hasn't been like chopped, <laughs> going to the ground, and then get, getting an explosion. And Naruto will create, make a. Naruto, Naruto will say, "Might want to get back," you know, and I mean a lot back. So he he would say he would say he would say that and she would go and he would be a giant the giant um what was it called the giant palm rotation yeah the giant palm rotation the Hugo style giant palm rotation and he makes that and he clashes with the other one and then he puts all his chakra into it so it doesn't like explode the entire thing so. And then he says, massive palm rotation. And it gets even bigger than this, like, this, like, it gets ten times more bigger than, like, the supernova or anything like that. And it g- hits, somehow, pain is not dead. And it hits, um, it hits pain, and it, he goes through it. And then he does all the chakra points, meaning that he can't move. And then he flies out and goes, like, gets, goes through a building and falls on the ground. Almost dying, but he he lets um he lets pain survive just for the eh, why not? And with a hundred and healing jutsu, and he would say, "You're welcome." And pain would leave, and they would figure out that yeah, everything would happen. Now, what should we call these? Because I, I seriously don't know. Now, he has introduced... He has gone to the internal manga kill showing on after his leave. And... Itachi would come back. And Sasuke wouldn't be able to kill him because he has this. He has this, um... I don't know what y'all could call this. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue what y'all could call this. 
he he has this whatever this thing is called and eternal mangekyo the internal mangekyo negagon no no just negative sharingan the internal mangekyo sharingan but in negative and then itachi wouldn't be able to die because he has he this move his whatever this is called he has Kamui, he has a perfect Santuno, which, um, he, <sighs> he wouldn't die from that one guy, and he would also still have the birds, and he, he would also have all of his new moves, but, like, he would also have the, like, the same moves, but, like, ten times more better. So, he would have a Matarasu, um, Almighty Push. He would have, actually, he would actually have Almighty Pull. He would only have Almighty Pull and all the other ones. You want to have Almighty Push, uh, and that's it. <coughs> so he would go, 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 go. <sighs> so he does that. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. After doing that, wait. This is my. This is the Mangekyo showing on. This is the eternal because this has one, two, three, four, five, six. Adding these two, so that's the eternal manga you're trying on. This is the eternal, so it has a perfect song to know and it, you know, everything like that. Oh, I'm freezing. <laughs> so, after that, the pain thing doesn't work, so then he just kind of travels out and Jiraiya then to. Jir- Hinata and since Hinata will be actually becoming the Hokage, guess why not? And Jiraiya would do the thing with Tsunade finally. I'm sorry. And then after that, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Yeah, after that, he goes and keeps training on these. He keeps training on all of this. But he's able to make one of these and... With only with f- three shadow clones and make one of these with only eight shadow clones. Now Hinata would go with him, so they would he would become the Hokage. He will leave just for like maybe a week or so. I mean a year after the like he won't become the Hokage, but after the year, then he does. Well, he doesn't, and then after everything like that, he. He's still not. <laughs> he would actually, after a year, he would come become the Hokage, making him. Actually, he would, after that year, he would be able to get this, and I'm making him extremely overpowered. <laughs> I mean, and he will also find B. He would also know the lighting cloak. He would also know it. Poggies. After that, after that, they would do everything, get married, and then they'll have bar to art. So, so um, this is it for uh, that, and this is going to be actually season one because I'm gonna make a season two to this, but uh, uh.